yo what's up guys hope you're doing good so today i'm gonna explain something really cool um that on twitch you know guys if you if you play some song in the background you're gonna get a copyright which mean you're gonna get your broadcast best broadcast muted or any clip that has any copyrighted songs in the background gonna be muted or sometimes it's gonna be deleted by twitch uh by default you you can't say when it's gonna be deleted or muted uh, yeah it's kind of weird i know so there is a trick you can do guys so it allow you to have your songs in the stream during a stream uh your chat gonna hear the songs but meanwhile if someone a clip um whatever if they clip even even you playing the song and people heard it hear it in the stream the clip gonna gonna have gonna gonna be without the song at all you know so the clip gonna be safe and meanwhile the the broadcast when you finish the stream the broadcast gonna be without all the songs you played in the broadcast itself which mean you'll not get any copyright claim you know so let's get started guys uh, first of all you need two things obs studio and a, a tool called voice Me meta banana so what you're gonna do is look normally when i stream i will have one audio output capture which means um let's uh let's call it um gaming man okay we game in here um all right i'll keep it for now default because i am gonna explain stuff all right so this is this is my output all right the out the output capture so if we go settings you gotta follow these steps okay guys we go settings we go to output after we go output you need to have it advanced all right and meanwhile you're gonna tick on this click on it which video track and select two all right click on this and select two apply and press ok next step after that you're gonna download a tool called voice matter as I said, it's called Voice Matter Banana. Um, I will leave the um, link in the description below, you know. So, after we go to the website, all right, using the link that I'm gonna post, um, you go there, either here or here. It's up to you. Um, the thing is, this is a Z and this EXE. It's up to you. I, I choose this one. It's the same actually. Um, I don't know, actually, I, ch uh, I choose AXA, but whatever, it's fine. So, after you download it, okay, what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna go here. Uh, it's gonna require um, restart your PC, of course. So, after you start it, you're gonna go there, cl right click open sound settings um, sound control or sound control panel you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see under uh, playback all right you're gonna have your headphones on okay you are, you enable your headphones and you're gonna see those okay you're gonna enable your headphones voice matter a ux and you're gonna enable the voice measure input which is gonna be uh vio yes you're gonna enable aux and vio and vio itself beside your headphones and this is the thing the really important thing i think by default it's gonna be um uh, it's gonna be set as default device and uh, communication device by default with a U X. What are you gonna do is you're gonna set the VAIO as default. As look, I set it already as default. 
and as a default communication device as well i have done this already all right don't forget at this point don't set a ux input and instead of this one you're gonna set this one see that's what this uh, mark is uh, just saying that i have it by default right now okay as communication device as well as the default all right oh, and you can read here so the thing is you have eight phone this one this one okay and we have it default already after we click okay you're gonna check something important choose your output device you're gonna click here as audio voice matter bio you're gonna click on this one all right not a ux this one if it doesn't appear if it doesn't appear after you apply things restart your pc and it's gonna appear that's what happened with me i i have seen this uh, a ux and i restarted my pc and this one appeared so we chose this one as output device um ah and uh, make sure that you have your mic because it, it changed itself you know pc is dummy we can't do anything about it you know <laughs> so make sure that you have your mic your own mic uh, on here so after you said all that let's keep this on okay just uh minimize all right what we do right now is we click here to add a new capture you're gonna add audio output capture a second one yes and uh, let's name it let's name it whatever you want but i would like to name it a u x and we choose here in this one a u x a u x input all right we click ok meanwhile what we do with the gaming one um the, the the regular one you have it already the output capture you click on it 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 is default i told you we're gonna came back to uh, come back to this one so what do you choose here not the AOX, you're gonna choose this one, the VAIO. Alright? Done. Now, there is a really uh, important stuff you're gonna do. You're gonna go to the AUX one, go to settings here, click on this one, advanced audio properties. After that, you're gonna see AUX, okay? And untick part two. Untick this. I'll tell you why too, we chose. You're gonna untick this one. Don't mess around with the others. Cl keep, keep everything uh, on, only this one off, okay? With the game, with the, with the, um, First one you had, the output you had already, keep, keep everything ticked on. Keep everything on, okay? Only with A, U, X, you're gonna have unticked with two. Why? Because uh, this, this, this is, this is uh, which video track, which is number two. So you take, you, you untick number two, which mean this one, gonna be for your songs the a u x so how it gonna work now all right we have done everything here on obs now this is the um the why we had that tool why we install it the real thing we going to the search part all right we go voice meta but don't to choose uh, ran, uh, the uh, regular one it gonna it gonna install uh, banana and the regular one by default it's gonna be like this don't go with this one go with the banana because th this one won't work 
So you click on the banana one. All right. Choose on the A one the headphones you're using. All right. Choose the headphones you're using. As soon as you click on it, as soon as you click on it, what are you gonna do is um, click in the menu and um, just to click everything I have on here as well okay so you don't need to every time you start up your PC to set it every single time so you take this click on this um, oh, save settings after you've done the A1 thing I say it save settings save it whatever you want and then click on low, load, load uh, settings on startup okay so Every time your PC is going to start up, this is that banana going to be uh, set it already, all right? Um, as, is, as I said, have the same options. And last part. Last part. Oh, by the way, guys, if you don't take all, uh, on all of these things here, when you close the program, you will not hear the songs no one can hear them because you need to click on everything here auto restart audio en engine and do you see this that's why you need to to take uh, take on all those so you can close the program with any problem all right any uh, after this we go to settings again open sound settings this is the thing all right you click on that you scroll down in the songs you click advanced sound options that's uh, the uh, the last part okay what's the browser you using for songs for youtube songs or spotify whatever okay or if you having spotify program what are you gonna do is i use a chrome okay me myself i use a chrome so, um, I go YouTube, YouTube. Um, this is my playlist. Uh, let's say, let's say I'm, I want to play whatever song is. Let's play this song. Okay. So, all right. I'm I'm playing this song right now, okay? You, you see it. Here. All right. <clears throat> After I played this song, you're gonna see here your browser or the program running the song gonna appear in the settings, okay? So the output gonna be voice matter A U X input, not the VAIO. You gonna choose a UX VAIO, okay? So what happened is after after all that, the song the song's gonna appear in in the a UX, and the the part you had the um the output you had already the 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 regular one you had that's gonna be the song of your games um whatever you run in the background. Like I have my PS5, so all songs gonna come from here, and every single uh, song come from Google Chrome or whatever coming from the Google Chrome. The song gonna be from the AUX. You can also you can also have Chrome, um, Spotify, as I said, all together. Like, but you need to have Voice Matter. AUX input. This is it. Uh, last thing, guys, before I forget, uh, if you want to disable disable your headphones and uh, you want to just use your speakers, it's so simple. Uh, you go to the settings, uh, open sound settings, sound control panel. Let's say let's say I have I have it on. I have the banana on, and I have the uh, headphones on so what I do is I have my um, yeah I have my speakers by my in, like in, in my monitor so what I do is like 
I enable my monitor sounds, disable headphones, and disable the AUX input. All right, this is that. Now the sounds come out from my, uh, my monitor. Nice, it works. And as I said, um, when you wanna you wanna it work back, enable again, enable your headphones, disable the speakers. This is a that was everything. I actually explaining it on YouTube on YouTube right now because a lot of people just the friends asked me during my stream that they want uh, me to. Uh, talk about this stuff special thanks to Vel. Vel is a friend of uh, Dark Souls 3 gaming community he explained everything about this to me so special thank to Vel. thank you bro um, that was everything guys if you have any question you can just uh, ask me you know I'm always available on discord um, I stream daily on twitch so you can ask me in Discord or you just comment and I'll respond. All right, guys. And as I said, the link of the tool, you're going to find it in the description. Take care, guys. See you around.